Hey everybody, it's Anakin again with Next Gen Tactics. Hope you guys are in a good mood today, because I am in a good mood today. I got a lot of uh, a lot of good games under my belt here recently. I think I'm really starting to feel the uh, the groove of Black Ops. I know there's a lot of naysayers out there who uh, you know are still longing for the days in Modern Warfare 2, but I'll tell you what, I'm I'm actually starting to really enjoy Black Ops. Uh, you know, uh, I. Uh, at first, I was kind of worried, you know, a little bit. I have to admit, but uh, man, overall, I'm I'm starting to kind of feel uh, feel the groove. This is a um, good free for all game here. This is my very first time to play free for all on Crisis, and uh, <laughs> what in the hell just happened there? Did you see that? Three of us, all within like two feet of each other, and somehow I escaped that, and I come back to kill both of them off. Uh, this is a, uh, man, I, I had a really great game right here. This was a, a real, real fun, fast-paced game. I, I don't know this map that well. Um, you know, I mean, I've probably played it a total, you know, maybe ten times. For, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to come across, uh, uh, you know, the, um, the map rotation a whole lot. Ah, what happened there? I don't know what happened there. Anyway, I got um, a group of some of my uh, good uh, good friends I've met on Xbox Live and through my YouTube channel here. Um, I've got uh, Holy Sam uh, Unholy Samurai, which uh, right there, he just died to my gun. And then I've got uh, Kung Fu is in here. He's a good friend of mine. I think he brought along some of his friends tonight. So um, we had a lot, a lot of really good players in this lobby. Um, Corvair there, oof, man, he was tearing me up. Uh, there was a lot of really, really good people in this lobby. Uh, I had uh, I had a good time. Uh, we we ran quite a bit. We ran through uh, a bunch of games, and boy, I'll tell you, it seemed like you never knew who was going to pick up the game win. But uh, I did end up picking up, uh, you know, uh, more than my share. That's for sure. I got pretty darn lucky overall, so I was real happy. Anyway, I uh, I want to give a quick shout out to um, DJS5401. Uh, he was one of the uh, uh, one of the first ones on my YouTube channel from my last video who spelled colloquialism right. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys participating in that, and I do want to mention Madden Fan Nine as well because I'll tell you those two uh, they posted uh, it, apparently just within moments of each other, and they both spelled the word right. Now uh, we're all gonna assume that they are just freaking awesome spellers and that they knew how to spell colloquialism without looking it up. Because remember, cheaters never win, right? All right, anyway, moving right along. If you guys caught my last video, I kind of went on on a rant about some of the uh, some of the things going on out there in the world of directors. And, uh, you know, normally that's not like me. I'm not really a, uh, somebody to rant like that. But... Uh, Let's get back to this. Uh, let's get back to this crazy game. I am in a darn good mood tonight. You know, I I had a um, a really uh, fun evening last night playing a lot of these games. You know, it's funny too. I'm I'm a director and everything. You know, here I'm got this YouTube channel. You know, talking about games. You know, oh God, it's so great. However, <laughs> I only get to play a little bit uh, from time to time. I don't really. Uh, you know, I, I'm not one of these uh, directors, I guess, that like lives in their you know, mother's basement or something and plays video games, you know, for 23 of the 24 hours in a day. Uh, you know, I, um, I actually only get to play, you know, a couple of, couple hours a night. So um, I have to, uh, try to try to win every chance I get to actually have a video to show you guys. <laughs> but, uh, you know, also, man, I really want to thank all you guys in my last video. The comments were spectacular. Uh, apparently, quite a few of you do want to see me uh, get my ass kicked in a, uh, a mo <laughs> Black Ops game. So, I, uh, I don't worry. I will, uh, I will do what you guys ask of me, and I will be posting a video, uh, you know, very soon of me uh, getting, uh, getting my ass handed to me here somehow. Yeah, it, it's going to be hard. I'll have to, you know, I'll have to actually lose on purpose. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Sorry. Anyway, we're moving along. So, um, anyway, let's get back to this game. Uh, right now it's tied. You'll notice 750 to 750. I just got that quick kill there. Uh, it, so far, it's been a very, very close game. I got a couple of quick kills back to back there. There is a uh, there is a moment here I want you guys to see that is just let me tell you. It astounded the person that got hit. It astounded me at the time that I actually got the kill. And it's a grenade throw 
like, I mean, just an unbelievable grenade throw. Now, let me tell you, I've, I do pride myself on my grenade throws, by the way. I'm, I'm actually pretty darn good at it. I can, I can nail a, uh, a grenade through a window uh, pretty darn easily. Uh, I've perfected that on Modern Warfare 2. And um, that's why, by the way, I choose Simtex. Simtex is not for everybody. Uh, you guys should definitely uh, choose either Frags or Simtex, depending on your aim with the grenade. But I will tell you... Uh, I'm a Simtex thrower 100%. I don't use frags at all. Frags to me are too unpredictable. I like to aim my Simtex, and um, you're going to see that here in a couple of minutes. Uh, ah, Kung Fu, dang it. Caught me putting my Claymore down. By the way, something funny here. You, that was my first Claymore, I think, that I put down in this whole game. I actually forget that I have Claymores from time to time. I, uh, I, I just forget to use them. I don't, even, <laughs> I don't even think about it. So anyway, now okay, now watch this, all right? I think we're coming up on uh, this insane moment. Yep, we sure are. You know, there's a tower up there people can get on, and uh, there is some insanity that happens here. By the way, did you see that shooting through there? That's my, um, that's my FMJ uh, habit kicking in. Uh, from Modern Warfare 2 there still. But anyway, watch this, okay? You're going to see this crazy, crazy grenade throw. Uh, and I, uh, I throw it and I hit somebody up on that tower. And there's almost no way I would have ever tried that throw uh, at any other time. I don't even know what I was thinking. Here it comes. Get ready for it. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. I'm like, oh, okay, wait. How about that? But look <laughs> No, look, look at that. Unbelievable. I just thought, well, what the hell. I'll, I'll throw this and at least maybe, you know, throw him off his game, you know, or whatever. It was a dead-on direct hit within, like, two feet of him. I couldn't believe it, like, made it. I literally just tossed it in the air. I didn't even, you know, I looked up at the sky and threw it. Just just like that just now, you know. I, I never know where really they're going to land, you know. I mean, I'm pretty good if I want to get something through a window. But, you know, to throw that up there, that was, uh, that was my pride on this map. Let me tell you, I, uh, I had to show that off. <laughs> and remember what I said also last game, I'm telling you, there's so much luck involved in these games, you know. Uh, anybody who swears that they... By the way, there goes my stupid FMJ habit again. Anyone who swears that they are just so insanely badass and awesome, you know, that they can just win for no damn reason, you know, just because they're just unmatched in skill. I'm telling you, gang, don't be discouraged by that because there is not, uh, you know, people out there with just this incredible, insane amount of skill to where they can't be beat. The thing is, is there is a lot of luck. And you know what? I've been told by a lot of my friends that uh, and, and family, including, you know, uh, you know, including them, that I am... You know that they consider me a pretty lucky person. I'm, I feel like I'm a pretty lucky person overall. But you know, th there's there's a lot of luck, and you know, you have to be smart. You have to use some common sense in these games. But uh, but yes, I'm telling you, don't let people lie to you. There's a lot of luck, just like right there. I mean, he just ran right past me. I'm sure he wasn't, you know, he wasn't ready to engage right at that moment. But I went ahead and and tried it, and I finished it off. So here we go. Let's watch that kill cam one more time. All I had left, by the way, was this this uh, stupid CZ-75. But look at that auto go to town. Boy, that thing uh, just tore you up. Anyway, uh, man, thanks a lot. I went 30-7 and seven on this. You guys are great. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys, we're on Facebook. Check the description of this video for the link to our new Facebook application. Subscribe and get our latest video updates posted right on the wall on your own Facebook page.